Hello again, everyone. Today we're looking at onomatopoeia. So our objectives today, we have the first one to know the meaning of onomatopoeia and the second one to be able to understand how writers use onomatopoeia to engage the reader. Onomatopoeia is likely the formal name for sound words. So there are many words in English that actually suggest the sound of the actions they're referring to. And this is what onomatopoeia is. So here are just a few examples of onomatopoeia. Purr, growl, moo, squelch, drip, flop, and slurp. I would like you to match the following sentences with the onomatopoeia that the words describe. I would like you to pause this video while you have a go at it and then we'll check the answers. So these are the answers and please let me know if you have correctly match them please comment below also if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for and please remember to click that notification button so you will it's a bell actually so you will be informed of my newest or latest videos so let's check our answers the sound of a fire burning is a crackle, the onomatopoeic word would be crackle. A toilet chain being pulled, that would be a flush. The telephone ring, jumping into a swimming pool splash. A dog barking would be a wolf. A gunshot would be a bang. Walking on gravel would be crunch. A window being broken would be a smash and a light being switched off would be a click. So if you're thinking, how do I put these words or into sentences? This is an example. The fire crackled in the darkness. So poets use onomatopoeia or these sound words more than most people. And I want you to think about why. What, what effects are poets trying to gain while they're using onomatopoeic words more than normal? I would like you to read the following poem and most of the lines contain onomatopoeia. So, hands off the tablecloth. Don't rumble belly. Don't grab the grub. Don't slurp the soup. Don't crumble the crackers. Don't mash the mushrooms. Don't mush the potatoes. Don't stab the steak. Don't slap the salt shaker. Don't peel the bread. Don't swill the sauce. Don't ooze the mayonnaise. Don't slop the slaw. Don't splat ketchup. Don't gulp the olives. Don't spill the pips. Don't finger the lettuce. Don't dribble the dressing. Don't comp the celery. Don't gobble the cobbler. Don't guzzle the fizz. Swallow, don't wig. Don't smack your lips. Pat with a napkin. Daintily dab. Quietly quaff. Fastidiously sip. And gracefully sample a nibbling tidbit. So can you go through and I would like you to highlight or to write down as many onomatopoeic words as you can find. Let's check. So we have looked closely at the poem and we're going to align the words that are particularly suitable. So not all of them. So we know that the sounds of the poem remind us of sounds heard at the table while people are eating. So some of them that I have underlined rumble, you can hear rumble, slurp, mush, slap, swill, slop, splatter, gulp, spit, dribble, comp, gobble, guzzle, and smack. So some of those words are, well, are onomatopoeic words and you can hear the sound that they make. 
Next task. Now, try writing your own I like poem. Look at the poem below for ideas. So I'll read them. This is a noise poem and you're going to um, write one of your own. So a lot of activities today. I like noise, the whoop of a boy, the thud of a hoof, the rattle of rain on a galvanized roof, the hubbub of traffic, the roar of a train, the throb of machinery numbing the brain, the switching of wires in an overhead tram, the rush of the wind, a door on the slam, the boom of the thunder, the crash of the waves, the din of a river that races and rains the crack of a rifle, the clang of a pail, the strident tattoo of a swift slapping sail. From any old sound that the silence destroys arises a gamut of soul-stirring joys. I like noise. So that is a very nice poem and now I would like you to create your own I like um, poem. So there's a template there, so I like sounds, and you could say the whistle of the wind, or the think about all the sounds that you could use. And as I said before, I keep repeating it, when you have had a go, please share it with us all by writing um, it in the comments below. So, our last task, so to speak, I want to consolidate the use of onomatopoeia. I want you to, this lesson was all about getting you engaged and involved as much as possible because practice, 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 um, repetition is really important in cementing and consolidating our knowledge. So these, there are eight sentences there. I would like you to use an onomatopoeia to complete each sentence. So number one says the old door slowly opened, the hooves of the horse in the distance, the stream gently, the of the crowd was deafening and it goes on. I would like you now to find an onomatopoeia. So this is showing me how well you've understood how to use onomatopoeia. And can you check? These are just some possible answers that I've put. Appropriate alternatives will be rewarded. So don't um, worry if you have a different word to me, a different onomatopoeic word. But once, so here are some possible answers and of course appropriate alternatives that will be okay. I've just given some onomatopoeic words. Once it is an onomatopoeia, it is fine. You will be rewarded for it. So here are my um, answers. The old door creaked slowly open. So the onomatopoeic word creaked. The hooves of the horse clip clopped in the distance. So the onomatopoeic word clip clopped. Number three, the stream whispered gently. So the onomatopoeic word there is whispered. The roar of the crowd was deafening. So the onomatopoeic word there is roar. The car beeps its horn. So the onomatopoeic word there is beeps. And number six, the meat sizzled in the frying pan. So the onomatopoeic word there is sizzled. And then number seven, the clink of the chains, chains. So the onomatopoeic word there is clink. And number eight, the drip of the leaping tap. Okay, so we have come to the end of our tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it as always. Thanks for being with me until the end and if you haven't, please remember to subscribe and of course share and like and click that notification bell so you will be notified of my next video. Until the next one, bye!